Hey, what's going on, incredible families? First of all, here at Northview Church, we are so thankful for you. I know the last few months have been difficult and the times we're living in can feel really uncertain. I hope you know that you've been prayed for consistently throughout this whole ordeal. We are for you and are in your corner. And by now, you've heard about the reopening tiers in Indiana set forth by our governor. We've looked at that plan and have created our own game plan with those guidelines in mind. We want to be conservative with how we roll this out because we realize there's still a lot of uncertainty moving forward. While we're excited to get back into physical proximity with each other, we want to enter into these phases cautiously and with students' safety in mind. Let me share the plan with you. First off, it'll be important to note that we will be taking all of the necessary precautions with any in-person gatherings that we'll have. We will be staying outdoors for all gatherings in June and July to make it easier to spread out and be together. When students arrive, there will be check-in areas where we will have hand sanitizer, optional masks, and guidelines for the night. All of our adult leaders will be wearing masks and we will be doing our best to keep social distancing guidelines in place. If we have food, they will be individually packaged or individually prepared by volunteers with the proper safety gear worn at all times. For 7th through 12th grade students, in June, we will have two in-person gatherings of fewer than 50 people present. Each campus will do this a little differently depending on how many students would be involved. And those dates are June 14th and June 28th. The other Sunday nights will be online as they have been throughout the stay-at-home order. On June 14th and June 28th, these nights will be focused around being together in person and also focused around worship. We want to spend time worshiping God and praising Him. In July, we will continue to host physical gatherings of students, and we will still keep to the number of students that are together under the allotted number set forth by the state of Indiana. These nights in July will be geared towards having fun together again. And these past few months, your middle school and high school student has had to go without being in proximity to their community, their crew, their friends. And so we need to have fun again. And our gatherings in July on the 12th, the 19th, and the 26th will be fun, engaging, and energetic. Each campus will be sending out communication about what is coming so that you will have all the details you need to get your student involved. For our fifth and sixth graders, we will be planning some fun nights together over the summer. Each campus will be a little different, so look for information from your campus student pastor soon. For many of you, your question is when will we be back to normal weekend programming? For total transparency, we are targeting being back together in normal services August 2nd weekend. There is a lot of time between now and then, but we wanted you to know so that you can circle that date on your calendar. There is a lot that can change in that time period, and we will be evaluating everything happening each and every week. If you still don't feel comfortable allowing your middle school or high school student to be around other people in that type of a setting, we totally understand. It's okay not to get involved this summer. We wouldn't want to put any type of pressure on you to do so. Allow your students to be involved when you feel comfortable. Know that we will do everything in our power to create a safe place for students to be together and experience Christ's love in a tangible way. As we regather, we created a discussion guide for your family to engage with that will help your family get on the same page. If you have any questions at all, please do not hesitate to reach out and ask. We are ready to respond and welcome the conversations. We are so thankful for you and are excited at how God is moving and what he's planning for our future.